All right. My next guest is best known in America from her days as lead singer of the Sugar Cubes. She's here tonight to perform a song from her latest solo album debut. Please welcome from Iceland, Björk. Talking with Bjork, thank you very much. This is, a, this is a new band you've just put together, is that right? Yeah. Is, is most everyone there from uh, Iceland? 
No, they're actually quite a collection. It's people from India, Barbados, Iran, Turkey. Wow. Wales. Now, where are you from originally? You're from... I'm from Iceland. Now, you grew up there. Uh, your, your parents are from there as well? Or? Yeah. I've I lived there just since this year, you know? Oh, okay. Now, so you grew up... Your musical development then was all in Iceland. What's it like yeah. over there? What's the, the music scene like there? Oh, it's a it's lot of sort of isolated people mm -hmm. who actually know how to control, control and operate electricity. But, um, <laughs> but, they, they don't... but good music comes from that situation. Yeah, and they're kind of isolated and they kind of listen, they sneak and listen to American radio. Mm -hmm. And they kind of like get sort of what's going on in Europe as well. Right. And then they kind of like misunderstand it in a very beautiful way. Oh, that's great. <laughs> No, oh, that's great. And this is, uh, are your, were your parents into music? Were they supportive about this when you... Yeah, they're very supportive. Mm -hmm. But my dad is actually an electrician. Mm -hmm. And my mum is a fortune teller. She's a fortune teller? Yeah. Is she pulling good money doing that? Is this... <laughs> no, it's, it's, she, she kind of does it more to help people. Right, right. Well, that's great. I wanted to ask you about your eyebrows, if we, I don't know if we can get a shot. Did people see this? That's now, those are, are those... Tattoos or? No, I, I just draw them. Oh, it's, you just draw them on? Yeah, I'm just so much into Indian films. Mm -hmm. And they make all these beautiful patterns above their eyes. So it's a bit sort of like, yeah, I'm basically a fan of all the Indian stars, you know, film stars. Right. Yeah. Well, now, this is a, <laughs> this is a, uh, this is your new CD right here. And this is with this band right here, everybody? Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is this different from uh, your work with the uh, Sugar Cubes? Oh, I guess the biggest difference is that I became a bit selfish on this one and kind of wrote all the tunes mm -hmm. and, and kind of like, um, kind of controlled people. Right. Well, not in a complete manner, but right. I kind of like... But you feel like this is more just purely your work? Yeah. I mean, right. it is kind of my music, but the Sugar Cubes are kind of like, we wrote it together, okay. you know? All right, well, but, this, we're gonna, I'm sorry, we're going to have to step away. We're, we're flush out of time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, thank you very much for coming on the show, and, and good luck with the album. Thank you. <laughs> all right. All right, I want to uh, thank all my guests. First of all, thanks to Björk. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jimmy Workman. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Of course, Fran Drescher. Sorry about the dog. And thanks to Andy Richter, Max Weinberg 7. That's all we got tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.